Um, just a little warning right now. Excuse me in the video because I'm getting over like a cold from going back and forth between climates and stuff like that. So I had to, you know, plug up one of my nostrils in the video, unfortunately, because my nose kept running and that's the only way I was able to stop it. So, but eventually, you know, I'll take the tissue out. I, I, it's not in there the whole time. But I just thought I should throw that in there. And, yeah, so I love this look or whatever. You know, it's nice and Barbie, Nikki-ish. So, um, I hope y'all love it, like it as much as I do. If my teeth look a little cream, ivory or yellow, you know, that's what pink due to your teeth so it's like a contrast something i really can't help but anyway yeah don't forget to thumbs up for me and be marie so yeah i hope y'all enjoy this video and y'all will see me in my next one so first i'm gonna start off with my skin by oiling my skin um this is called the bruja potion locally sold by elixir and cosmetics i'm gonna put it down in my description and this stuff is so good for my skin like i think it helped with my pores and everything and it definitely helped out with my cheeks so then i'm gonna start with morphe 35w palette y'all for this look <clears throat> we're not using many eyeshadows surprisingly but no so i'm gonna start off with this light color as my transition always start off with a light color as your transition shade that way you have something to blend into because the next color we're gonna go into is black and i just didn't want to start out with just plain black so i started out with this one so now we're gonna go into black with that fluffy brush and I'm just going to go back and forth on each eye doing black as my second color. And I'm going to try to deepen it, but not as much because we still want it to be a little transparent because this is still part of our transition before we go into the crease. And then when we get into the crease, that's when it's going to start getting a little darker. But for now, I'm just going to add the black in little by little. Little by little, because black eyeshadow is already pigmented as hell. So you don't want to start off with just a big brush full of black eyeshadow. You want to start off little by little and ease yourself in. So right here, I slowed it down for you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking it and blending it out, blending it out. So you don't have no harsh lines. And I'm going to go back in between the black and that neutral transition shade. So now we're going to start the crease and we're going to go back into the black, get a little and just start on the outer edge and then do windshield wipe motions going in towards the end of the inner corner of your eye. So you want the outer edge to be darker than the inner corner. And I'm just going to deepen it up with that black. Just a little hint. It doesn't matter what colors you use on your eyes. You can use one eyeshadow for a whole look. You have to have certain brushes to get the look that you're trying to achieve. You have to. You have to. Some people might say brushes don't matter, but they really do. 
you could use if you want to use you could use red for your whole eye but you need different brushes for it to show up in different ways and darker and lighter and what you want to pack on not pack on so now I'm going to use this NYX um, lid lingerie I love this stuff if you need a cheap white base you could get this one I got mine from Ulta and I got two of them so I got mine from Ulta. The only thing I don't like about it is that after a certain amount of while, it cracks. It starts to crack on your eye and separate. But for the time being, it holds up for about a good, mm, I want to say approximately like six hours. It holds up pretty good. So I'm going to use that to cut my crease. I'm not using concealer because the color that we're going to put on our lid, we need it to pop, which is the popping pink. So we need that to pop. So I'm going to cut my crease with this white. And then I'm going to do the same on this eye. If you haven't already noticed, my eyelids are hooded. So I have to cut above, a little bit above my original crease. So that you're able to see the layout of the eyeshadow look that I'm trying to do. So then we're just going to go back into the... Oh, my bad. So then we're going to pick up the pink before going back into the black. We're going to pick up this pink right here in the same 35W palette. I use this palette for the whole look by Morphe. And we're going to pick up that pink and I'm just going to pack this pink on my lid with my finger. I'm not going to use a brush because I feel like my finger works better for packing on lid colors and making them popping. So we're just going to pick up that pink and we're just going to put it on our lids on top of that white. Pat it, don't smear it because you don't want to pick up your base. So just pat it down like a pat smear, pat swipe. Just pat it down. So now we're going back into the black and we're just going to blend out those edges so that it just all comes together. I'm going to take a little bit of the black and blend it a little bit over the pink just so you don't see the start and stop point of the eyeshadows. It all needs to be one. And then after this, I'm going to go in with a small angle brush and just bring the black on the border of the pink so that it could give it a little more depth and a little more of that cut crease look. So now I'm taking the angle brush and I'm just taking black and just going over this line to make it more crisp. And then I just took some black cream eye eyeliner from e.l.f. And just drew a wing and I made it wider on the outside going into the black and then thinner on the inside so then I'm taking my NYX primer glitter primer <clears throat> this glitter primer is so good and I'm gonna say this every time I use this it's so good and I'm just gonna take the NYX holographic uh, silver glitter and only put the glitter on top of the pink 
I'm not going to bring it all the way across my eye. I'm just going to stay right in on the pink area on top of that black eyeliner. I'm just going to stay right in that area and leave the rest of it black. Okay, so I went on and put my lashes on off camera. These are the paparazzi uh, style lashes by Kiss Lashes. And I'm just, this is my first time using this NYX uh, Beauty Blender. I seen it in Ulta and I was like, hey, why not? I never used a, blended, a beauty blender to blend out my foundation before. So this is my first time. So I took Maybelline Fit Me. Um, Matte and Poreless Foundation mixed with the Milani 2-in-1 uh, foundation. I use, in the Milani one, I use Tan 09, and then in the Maybelline Fit Me, I use Toffee. And I blended it out with the NYX Beauty Blender. I like this Beauty Blender. It got soft. At first, it gave me some worries because it was hard. But then as I wet it, and it got really big. So I was like, oh, okay, NYX, I see you, I see you. So now I'm just taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I think this is medium. In medium. I love a good concealed under eye. Yes, I do. And I'm just going to blend it out with this Beauty Blender. I was kind of confused on which side of the Beauty Blender to use to blend my concealer out. So, one point of the video, you're going to see me use the wide side, and then I'm going to peep the other side and be like, oh, was I supposed to use this one? I really didn't know. So, I'm just going to go ahead and conceal my under eye and my nose. I used this concealer in medium, and I also used the concealer in golden. So, I used two of them for my under eye because I felt like I'm running out of this one. So I needed just a little more of that oomph under my eyes, so I added another one. And right here, this is where I added my second concealer. So now I'm moving on to my contour. I'm just taking the LA Pro Girl Concealers in Chestnut, which is right here. And then my second one is Dark Cocoa. I use two contour colors to slim my cheeks um, down. Really to slim my face down because I have a round face and I have chubby cheeks. Plus high cheekbones. So I really need my face to be like, you know, that sunken look. You know, that little funky look or whatever. But yeah. <laughs> so this is the second uh, contour color. Then I'm going to go in with the Sasha Buttercup powder. I love this powder. Oh. So this is where I have the tissue in my nose, y'all. I'm getting over a cold. Like, I just came back from D.C. And it was like two degrees up there. And I was so sick and my nose kept running. And I needed to get this video out if my nose kept running. It was getting on my nerves. So I had to plug it up with some tissue. I had to or else I would have took my whole face off and just would have been like, fuck this video. But I didn't want to be like that. So I'm like, well, nobody perfect. I'm human. I get sick. So I just went on ahead and plugged my nostril up. But eventually... It's gonna come out, it's gonna come out. Just be patient, just don't let it distract you from this beat look that we about to do, okay? Okay. So I'm just applying my Sasha Buttercup powder 
I don't really do it right here on my cheeks. I just thought it because I don't like the way it leaves lines on people's faces. But that's fine if that if you add a little bit, it'll be fine. So then I'm going to go in with my Pro Fusion Pro Contour Palette from TJ Maxx. And I love this palette. And this is the Wet n Wild Contour Brush. I love this brush too. It grew on me. So now I like it. I use it now. And I'm just going to contour everywhere but my nose. I didn't really put makeup on my nose because I was wiping my nose like the whole time. So, yeah. So then I'm going to take this uh, Wet n Wild brush and just dust off the excess powder off my face. And I'm going to dust it from under my cheeks, my eyes, around my mouth, my forehead. <laughs> So then we're gonna go back into the Morphe 35W palette. And we're gonna go into the black. This is the brush from the crayon case. And we're just gonna go into the black and just put the black on the outside, only on the outside corner of my bottom lids. Just on the outside. And that's the only color that I'm gonna put at the bottom. Now I was checking myself out, make sure it's cute, it's cute, okay. So, then I decided, okay, I need something else to this look. So I started adding bottom lashes on my eyes. I just took some hair glue and added bottom lashes. Then I added a rhinestone that I got from Michaels. And I just put some um, hair glue, the tray glue on my eye at the bottom and just put the bottom lashes and the rhinestones on and I felt that it brought this whole look together I felt real Barbie-ish after that like I felt like I looked like a real life baby doll I was like yes yes girl put your rhinestones on your bottom lashes so then I'm gonna spray my face with my favorite setting spray the Milani 24 hour make it last setting spray and it does make it last and then I'm gonna highlight my face with my two highlighters from Wet n Wild, Precious Petals, and Blossom Glow with this Wet n Wild uh, highlighting brush. As you can see, I'm starting to feel it because my highlight was about to be popping. Then I'm going to go in with the Blossom Glow highlighter right here and add that on top to add more of that glow because we got to be popping with the glow. And I'm just gonna add it to my nose, my forehead, a little bit on my top lip. And then I'm gonna add it to my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm gonna add it to my eyebrows. And I think I added some in my inner corner, which I'm pretty sure I did. I always do, but yeah. So now for the lips, I got this NYX Duo Chromatic Lip Gloss, and this lip gloss is really pretty. It's called Crushing It, and it's like holographic. And for all my OGs, y'all know this lipstick snob. I had to bring out the oldie but goodie snob. I had to bring it out for this look because it was so perfect and my St. Germain was just not the same. So snob fit perfect for this look. And I loved it by itself. But I was like, mm, I'm going to add some more. So on top of the snob, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild White Lipstick. This lipstick came out during Halloween time. So that's why the name of it is uh, like Halloween-ish. And I just added that in the middle to give it that light Barbie, that real Barbie pink type of look. And then after that, I went in and decided to um, line my lips. At first I wasn't, but then I was like, nah, I can't just 
just be posting pictures without my lips being lined. So I just took a little wet and wild uh, brown lip liner, lined my lips. And then eventually after that, I went in with the, uh, the NYX Chromatic Lip Gloss. Now about the lip gloss, the lip gloss was pretty, like it's, it is pretty, but it does leave a ring on the inside of your mouth, but it is pretty, it's pretty. So here's why I lined my lips, and then here's why I added the lip gloss. And that is it for this look and this Barbie inspired look collab with me and B. Marie. I hope y'all enjoyed it and see me in my next one. I'll see y'all later.